We're going to do just a few more. I'm going to get your help a lot more on these. So the next one that we are going to do is 7, negative 2, and negative 5, negative 2. 7, negative 2, and negative 5, negative 2. All right. So from here, we would have x1, y1, x2, y2. Again, just make your life a little bit easier. Let's also put in our formula. So y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. And then let's plug and chug. We got this. So y2 is going to be negative 2. I'm going to bring over my negative from right here. That's why I got that here. Our y1 is going to be negative 2. In the denominator, we are going to have our x2, which is negative 5 minus, and our x1 is going to be positive 7. All right. From there, again, using a calculator, using your brain, if you notice, Minus a negative, just like the last problem, makes it a positive. Minus a negative makes it a positive. So this would be negative 2 plus 2. So if they're on both si either side, we just subtract, keep the sign of the number that's bigger. Well, it's 0. 0 has no sign. So 0 is on top. And then we have a 5 and 7 because... This would be a negative. That's a negative. They're on the same side. So this is going to be 12. Keep the sign. 0 over negative 12. What is 0 divided by anything? If you have 0 cookies and you share them with 12 friends, how many cookies does each person get? This is 0 fun. This is 0 fun. Remember slope tube? Woo! Got it. All right. We're going to try one more. I'm going to have you do this one yourself. You got this. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. One comma two and negative three comma zero. All right. Take a moment. Pause this video. When you come back, we'll go over it. Welcome back. So we have our y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Again, that's just our formula. We then can label our points up here. We would have done 0 minus 2 over, oopsies, negative 3 from our x2 over or minus one. All right. Zero minus two is going to be negative two. Negative three minus one more is going to be negative four. Negative two over negative four. Both of those can be reduced by two. So let's divide both of those by two, leaving us with negative one over negative two which obviously a negative over negative makes it a positive. So that is a one half slope. You got this Falcons. Keep it up. Keep it up.